Hello, honorable members of the clan. So today is the big day where Mr. Keninda is going to be taking the stand. Apparently, we need to address them according to their ranks. Brigadier Keninda, my apology. Anyways, he's taking the stand today and now we await to hear what he is going to be saying on the stand. But of course, uh, right now is going to be the state leading him of course and we all know the state is going to be asking darling questions and then he's going to respond with a llb 101 a response that never ends and when he's asked a question he just goes around the bushes trying to demonstrate to everybody that i'm intelligent i'm articulate as well and everybody is going to fall for him and say oh wow Gininda is such an articulate person. Gininda is so what, what, what. But he hasn't answered the question. Especially when it comes to the defense where they are cross-examining him. I think it's a tactic that I uh, don't answer. You know, just, just take them on this trip that doesn't exist. And then they uber lose somewhere there. And let them find their own way back. I hope that uh, the defense this time around have learned that they ask him and ask him directly a yes or a no, no explanations because he has the tendency of trying to dominate the, uh, the, the defense by saying, but then I also have the right to, oh, but I also have the right to. And then of course, this forces the defense who is cross-examining him to listen to this lecture that does not even answer the question. And then I'm not quite sure as well what the judge will be taking from Geninda's LLB 101 lecture because at the end of the day, Geninda is supposed to be in court to assist the court to come to a conclusion as to if these five people that stand before the court are indeed as guilty as charged or not. And uh, so this is what you're going to be expecting, but I'm not expecting much from what uh, Baloy is going to be doing with Gininda because it's all going to be darling questions and he's going to answer uh, very freely and, and, and also uh, creatively as well. He must also remember what spices were used in this broth that we all suspect is a broth that has been cooked and uh, they still need more time. They still need more time. I've said in the past before that postponements and adjournments or which would be one of the same thing they work in favor of the state because they need that time to put together some cookerization i mean if uh elizabeth maria whatever her surname is Dai van Dyke, rama bolelo uh pretorius pistorius whatever she is that was a clear cookerization guys a clear cookerization and um if you also look at everybody that's taking the stand every ranking police uh ranks in the police uh, service they've been called on the stand in case you are uh, wondering and not even once after zandile tumelo and um togo uh taking the stand they ever called other eyewitnesses and the question is, what strategy was that all about? Now he's bringing AVLs that are talking about uh, Silo Twala, who is the owner of the Polo, but when is he going to be called on the stand? So that he can explain to us, how is it possible that uh, two intruders enter the house, one carrying a gun, one carrying a knife, and then holds up everybody in the Kumalo house where Senzo ends up getting shot? And, and deleted and then before that Longo Twala managed to push the guy with the gun and just walked out and passed the first guy that he is guarding and then passed the second guy who's guarding at the gate and then he also uh what do you call this the, the runaway driver is just standing there watching him leave the house jumps into a red polo but the red polo doesn't speed off he doesn't call for help it, it, it just moves slowly with the engine off. Make it make sense. Make it make sense because this is exactly what Longer should be caught on the stand and asked about. There was a sense of emergency that you ran away from. 
You don't call the neighbors for help. You don't call the police for help. You hop onto the red polo and then you roll the polo without turning on the engine. And then you move at a snail pace. But there are people being pointed with a gun that you ran away from. This is what we need to hear, understand. And then why Silo Twala, the owner of the Red Polo, is not called on the stand to explain that movement of 13 kilometers per hour, 17 kilometers per hour, 15 kilometers per hour, 24 kilometers per hour, including when they leave Fosloras going to uh, Glen Vista. They are moving at a 24 kilometers per hour, uh, what do you call this, uh, speed. And the question I'm also asking myself is, can Longwe drive? Because it sounds like he can't drive to me. The owner of the vehicle is the one that was driving. And if he was driving at that pace, what was wrong with his leg? And then if he was, let's say, shot, then why didn't Longwe take the wheel? Because, you know, he's not shot. And the, you know what I'm trying to say here? Guningi, guys, Guningi is going on and we need to put up the fire one way or the other. And uh, yeah, we are going to be tortured for the next few weeks. I meditated this morning. I welcomed good karma. I welcomed good omen because you know when Guinea takes the stand, ushalala on me. I don't know about you. Something about the cloud that is going on there and it's not a white cloud at all. And so I perceive it through the screen, so I had to meditate and ask the divine to come and protect me from these spirits that are just weighing me down. Sometimes my eyelids will get so heavy, not that I wanna sleep, but they just wanna close. So uh, yeah, these are the things that we are expecting this morning uh, in the Nokhal Deng High Court. I don't know what your thoughts are. Please write in the comment section before the court resumes this morning. I think they're going to start around uh, 15 minutes past 10, 17 minutes past 10. But uh, please put it in the comment section. What are your thoughts are? What are you expecting? And what you suspecting as well is going to happen on the stand today. And we see Gininda today. We see him also tomorrow. And then I think we are going to see him twice next week as well. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember his schedule or writing schedule for that matter. But we also want the official timetable because this timetable sounds like it was cooked as well. Anyways, that's all I'm saying. If it's a prelim uh, timetable, okay, understandable. But if it's not, mm, something not right there, clearly. And we are now accustomed to this cookerization going on by the state, allegedly. Anyways, guys, let's see each other just a little bit later when Geninda takes the stand. And you know, we have decided that we are going to take the uh, proceedings of the day uh, one small bite at a time instead of you listening to a whole lot of um, uh, commentary from me that takes 30 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes. I know somebody said who lives in Sweden, please, can you do a whole, I will, I will do the small bites during the course of the day and then I'll do an overall um, recap of what happened in court for your benefits, those that are living outside of the South African time zone. So those are the things that we are going to be observing uh, going forward. Thank you all so much guys for your support. I highly appreciate, I highly appreciate the super thanks. I do see them. Again, my comment section, it, it just does not want to click on some um, uh, comments. Not because the comments have, they said something wrong. Because these days YouTube deletes uh, comments that have a certain mentality or thought. You, some people even think that I'm the one who's deleting when I'm actually not deleting it to YouTube. But I don't know what's wrong with um, when clicking. But anyways, also another update. My phone, um, I just got an email telling me that I can come and pick up my phone. I'm using my sister's phone right now. Ugh, I hate using somebody else's stuff. But anyways, uh, Sunday is the day I'm going to go pick it up. And hopefully everything will get back to normal. And all of my YouTube colleagues that are trying to call me, I know guys, I'm sorry. And other friends of mine, 
uh, that I've made in the uh, online space. Guys, I'm sorry. I can't read emails. I can't read anything. Um, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am sorry. Let's see each other a little bit later. Goodbye.